Good afternoon. This is Frederick Wallflower and Cedric Kettlecorn bringing you Science in the Classroom. Welcome to this instructional video of the gas called Chlorine. This greenish yellow gas was discovered in 974 BC. Actually, it was 1774 AD. Very good, by the Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Skeel. He called that gas the Marini acid. What a Swede. It was deflogisticated marine acid. Very good. And in 1807, however, the English chemist Sir Humphrey Davy proved that Skeel's substance was a pure elemento. He suggested that we change the name to Chlorine. And, you know, despite my fierce debate against it, well, the name was changed. And now my good friend Cedric will inform you of the natural occurrences of Chlorine in nature. Chlorine doesn't occur in nature. Yes, it does. I, I saw it last week. I was under the Earth's crust, and, and, and it was in the seawater. What? I travel a lot. Don't ask questions. Now, Cedric will talk about structure, while I go try to find some structure in my own life. Chlorine is a halogen, having seven valence electrons. When it forms chlorine gas, it becomes Cl2. It's highly reactive due to its weak bond strength, so it forms many compounds in nature. Very good. Now, time for me to do my share of the work. Now, hold up. Cedric, what's going on? We rented the Twilight Zone, Cedric. This is dangerous. We evacuate. Evacuate. Chlorine is a member of the halogen gang. Check the periodic table for its CL name. It's got a nice palindrome for its molecular weight. 35 for 4 by 3 grams per mole, okay? At the normal room temp, chlorine is a gas. Stay away from ClO2 or there will be a blast. Chlorine reacts a lot because the bonds are weak. Combustion with ammonia, turpentine, and natural gas, so to speak. It's classified as a memento. Chlorine keeps people healthy in the sense of medical. 95 grams of chlorine compound per man. H2O breaks down your food and helps with digestion. Chlorine compounds are essential to all of our plants. In World War One, we knew that it definitely hurt friends. The test for chlorine is sadly non-existent. If your lungs don't hurt, then you know that it's present. Chlorine gas protons are 17. Don't breathe it in. It is yellowish green. Oh, chlorine gas. 18 neutrons. Breathe in too much. And your life will be gone. Chlorine is made by electrolysis. Current through sodium chloride sends a solid in reverse. Produces gases that way. Cl and H2. Now let's get to ways the chlorine is used. We just papers like a boss. Used to make products white. Purifies our water. That's important, right? Purify our water. I said it again. Also uses pesticides. Send insects to their ends. It makes ethylene dichloride, which makes our PVC pipe. In World War One, Germany used it to put out the Allies' lights. Also used to make CFCs, acronym for chlorofluorocarbons, you see, uses aerosols, ACs, and cleaning stuff. Outlawed environmentalists has had enough. Here's the ozone layer, real bad, you see. Bottom line, use chlorine carefully. Chlorine gas, protons are 17. Don't breathe it in. It is yellowish green. Oh, chlorine gas. 18 neutrons, breathe in too much, and your life will be gone. When I say chlor, y'all say in. Chlor, in. Chlor, in. When I say it don't, you say burn. It don't, burn. It don't. Burn. When I say highly, you say reactive. Highly, reactive. Highly, reactive. When I say Lazonus, you say attractive. Lazonus, attractive. Lazonus, attractive. When I say extra, y'all say credit. Extra, credit. Extra, credit. When I say oxidation, you say takes on some electrons from other substances in order to help the other substances to burn like oxygen. I. Break it down like a catalyst. Ooh, give me some chlorine. It's toxic, but I want it so badly. Oh, you'll get the mucus membranes in your lungs and your eyes, and it'll react, and that'll be very bad. But I love the chlorine. No! I gotta have more chlorine. No! I love the yellow green. No! Chlorine gas, but 
tones are 17 Don't bring it in It is yellowish green A chlorine gas 18 neutrons Leave it too much And your life will be gone